So this is going to be the second eye video uh, I've done. This is a more detailed eye. And this is also kind of um, in conjunction with a video. Hey, there's Cookie in the background. Always got to be a cat, right? Uh, with uh, the the sycamore carving, the spirit that I did. It's, he's in the background. You'll see him. He's right underneath my hand there. Um, anyway, so I'm, I'm already starting here. Um, you can see actually that I'm... I just do the top lid, the top part of the socket, I do the inside of the eye, and then I go ahead and go for the bottom part of the socket. So, um, you don't, because this is sycamore, uh, again, I, I'd watch this other video of this wood spirit carving where I talk about carving these harder woods where the details and the, you know, the tear outs, they, they, they have different rules and they kind of, if you have more, um, kind of, I guess, um, safety zones in what you're doing, and, and they just kind of, they work differently a little bit. It's a mildly different medium. Uh, literally and the way you're thinking about it so you can see already the way that I'm kind of digging into these and um, if you can see how small this is a mill this is one millimeter size v-tool and uh, there I'm poking out a little bit of a uh, spot for his pupil I've figured out you know just kind of like the other video if you haven't seen it go check out the my other eye video it's like the squint video um, I'll put a link in there as well um, unless you're getting into the harder woods I wouldn't mess around with this kind of eye unless it's again I guess it's all kind of relative if it's a larger size um, then you can do more detail uh, of course but um, faces have to be so large so big for um, for the eyes to be big enough to really get detail in there um, anyway you can uh, oh I'm, I'm putting it down oh I'm picking it back up again all right uh, anyway, so what I'm kind of doing with these like kind of like stab cuts and stuff inside here, look, we'll do one right here, um, is that it, I'm really just kind of making a shadow that instead of like carving it out, I'm really just making an indentation. And I'm kind of um, forming the iris and the pupil with a negative kind of color. So normally you would do, that would be the whites of the eyes, what I just indented there, and then now the iris. And the pupil should be dark, but I'm actually making the that dark part. It's actually kind of the um, highlight of where the pupil is, um, because this is just, you know not reality. This is a little art form, and it's an expression. The, the brain's okay with that. If it sees these kind of um, particular shapes together, it's okay with that. And um, you'll see at the end here that that does work pretty well. Um, again, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess I kind of saw it in. Uh, when you go to the museum, you go look at these like stone sculptures, and the guys, their pupils would be because you can't make black on you know marble or alabaster stone. You, they would just drill these holes, and it would look really weird. Um, and of course, on a really large sculpture, you can't do this kind of stuff that I'm doing, which is just kind of these stylized tricks of shadows and whatnot. Um, but it made me kind of like think about this kind of stuff. So when I would when I would go in to do these, I was messing around, uh, you know, copying other people's eyes and uh, other woodcovers' eyes and trying to develop my own style. Um, that's kind of what influenced it there. And you can see that at different times, at different shadows, you know, from the light, you see that it, it does different things. So right here, I'll define the top of the eyelid. And again, this is something only you're really going to be doing in like a... a um, a harder wood you know and the basswood's not going to put up with that kind of stuff especially after you've already carved a bunch of little details in there um, so anyway I just wanted to go through the process just to show you guys um, again I would suggest trying out some harder woods um, you know get it down close to a shape that's uh, that what you're going to carve in the end because removing stock wood uh, roughing out a shape with with harder wood is just so hard and frustrating and it really is difficult so uh, but at the same time when you once you get close and you just have these little details to do it's just a little bit of wood to take off um, it's just so refreshing after messing around with basswood for so long um, so carving eyes in general this is kind of an advanced eye but I'll just go over this anyway um, you you want things to kind of overlap each other kind of from top to bottom like you want the the top lid to kind of be larger or overlapping the bottom lid and you want the top lid to be overlapping the pupil and the iris and and not just overlapping but very specifically being on top of them you see here this it looks like the pupil 
And the, the, the upper lid is kind of crossing the pupil almost at this halfway line on the pupil and the iris, that kind of circle in the middle of the eye. And it, uh, I make this joke a lot of times about um, it takes a lot of years of art school to close the eyes um, on your drawings or paintings or whatever it is. Um, this is something that, that actually, in, in reality, people have eyes and they look totally normal that their, their whole iris and pupil show. But it doesn't translate on the art very well. It's very hard to get that kind of, um, those kind of like little things and get them to work well. In general, you want to close that eye. And um, as long as it's not past that center line, because if it is, then it looks like they're going to be on Thorazine or that the, they're, you know, a zombie or something or, or asleep. Um, as long as there's, there's that just that halfway, um, because, it, you know, when you think about it, it's, it's a, you know, like a camera lens or something. It's just that center point of that sphere where that light has to get focused through. And so the eyelid is going to, and the, and the eyelashes are going to be playing a role in how much light's getting in there. It's a very minimal amount. So that's going to be play, playing on that, almost at the center line. So when you think about it, don't draw out that whole pupil. Um, you know, think, just, if you look at these, these are pretty closed eyes. Um, it's just, you just squint them open just a little bit. And then that helps with the eye, rest of the eyelid kind of, looking like it's over top of them. So this is kind of at, basically at the end here. I need to go over it with a toothbrush. This is very close up, very small. Um, and you can see again, I just kind of poked out the sides here to make that little thing here and then poked out the other side. Again, just working it back and forth um, instead of actually carving it out, uh, which you can carve it out, of course, but um, it's, it's much easier just to get a clean little kind of uh, press, if you will. Oh, my cat's playing with plastic. All right, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, carve safe, right? Bye.